piecing together the i8 EcoSports car taught BMW some valuable lessons, some of which you'll see in the next generation or two of the company's electrified mainstream cars. You won't have to wait that long for BMW to deliver on the key lesson, which can be seen right here in the 330e, make hybrids fun to drive and don't make people compromise on what they like. The 338 neatly sidesteps the traditional character blanching entry ticket you get with hybrids by delivering almost as much torque as the 340i and a sprint time to 62 miles per hour of 6.1 seconds. For most people eco-conscious enough, especially in a time of cheap gas, to bother with plug-in hybrids, that's going to be quick enough. And so is the 140 mile per hour top speed. This 330 is, theoretically, capable of delivering 25 miles of electric car range or ridiculous amount of range as a gasoline electric hybrid. It will post a 44 gram CO2 emissions figure and officially deliver 1.9 liters slash 100 kilometers on the NEG test cycle in Europe, which translates to 124 miles per gallon equivalent in the US, though it's unclear what the EPA certified number would actually be. While punching in a straight line is always good, and sipping fuel like it's being rationed is nice, the key part to the 330e is that still handles like a 3 series should every time you arrive at that one fun corner. It won't quite manage the precision of a normal 3 series because it's 353 pounds heavier, but it's not far off. BMW has buried the 7.6 kWh lithium-ion battery pack beneath the cargo floor while the electric motor resides up front, so the weight distribution moves from 50 hours 50 minutes to 49 hours 51 minutes, leaving it a touch heavier in the back. Effectively, it's a 3 series with a 320i's 2.0-liter, 4-cylinder gasoline powertrain, the standard 8-speed automatic transmission, and an electric motor sandwiched in between to create a hybrid. The electric motor adds 87 horsepower to the gas engine's 181 horsepower to offer 248 horsepower of total power. Yes, we know they don't directly add up, but that's the total output. While it has 74 pound feet of continuous torque, the electric motor can overboost to 184 pounds to foot when it needs to. Add that to the gas engine's 214 pounds to foot and the car has a maximum of 310 pounds to foot minus 22 pounds to foot shy of the 340i, without pumping out as many emissions. The 330e's brain is geared, in its default driving mode, to drain everything possible from the battery by the time you get to where you're going, because that's the most efficient way to drive. The 330e does all of this by judging the navigation route including real-time traffic information, and giving the ECU a which engine to use now template for every meter of every drive. Enter a destination, and the 330e thinks about how much city driving there is on the way, how big the hills are, how much hard acceleration it might need to do, now many miles it will do on highways, where the gas engine is more efficient, and even where it might have to brake frequently. <laughs>